In this video, we're going to um, calculate the lattice enthalpy uh, of, of formation, or it could be dissociation, um, of sodium chloride. And this, we're going to use, uh, this is called the Born Harbor cycle. But before we do that, we just need to, to just um, recap, um, recap some definitions and come up with a couple of new definitions. Okay, so um, we need to know what uh, <coughs> is lattice enthalpy of formation of. Um, uh, formation of sodium chloride right so that's the enthalpy change occurring when you form one mole of sodium chloride from its gaseous ions okay so it's obviously something you can't measure directly and we'll go to NaCl solid so it's form an ionic lattice from the gaseous ions um, <coughs> so we did that a couple of videos back um, another one which we are we need to know is uh, enthalpy uh, of atomization. Okay, now that's usually given the symbol delta H at. Okay, and that is the um, uh, the enthalpy change occurring when one mole of gaseous element uh, is formed from uh, the element in its standard state. Okay, so that is when you, for, for example, for sodium, it's going to delta H out for sodium, it's going to be um, Na solid going to Na gas. That's obviously going to be quite endothermic um, because you, you know, you're breaking the metallic lattice up there. So the value for sodium um, is uh, plus 496 kilojoules per mole. We have to be more careful with the delta H at for chlorine because delta H at for chlorine, well, look at the definitions, is when one mole of gaseous um, element, gaseous Actually, I should say atoms there. I'm going to cross it out. Atoms are formed. Okay. So we have to be careful there because look, for so for chlorine, it's one mole of gaseous ions. So it is. It's half Cl2. That's the standard state of, of chlorine, isn't it? Cl2 gas goes to Cl gas. It's not um, Cl2 gas going to 2Cl gas because we're forming two moles of um, <coughs> of gaseous sodium atoms there, aren't we? So and the value for that is plus 121 kilojoules per mole. So that's delta H at. Um, another one that we need to know about is, well, the, an old one uh, is first ionization energy. We all remember what that is. That's not the uh, first ionization energy. All right, for sodium, it's going to be, it's when you get a gaseous, it's the end, you're starting off with gaseous atoms. Remember your definition from year 12, and you're going to form an Na plus ion in the gaseous state and an electron. Now, that is, um, uh, that the value, oh, sorry, the, um, I think I've got this this one wrong here because that is that the, the first ionization energy is plus four hundred and ninety six kilojoules per mole. I'll just look up the delta H atomization. For sodium It is 107, okay, that's 107 kilojoules, sorry about that. But it's still endothermic, that's the main thing. Right, now this is, um, uh, this is all, removing electrons from atoms is always endothermic because 
even though you know we all say oh sodium wants to lose an electron it doesn't really want to lose an electron because if you're removing an electron um it's attracted to the positive nucleus so that is endothermic now there's a new one which we haven't come across yet and this is called the uh, the first electron affinity of chlorine of an element right of chlorine it's going to be it's the opposite instead of um, removing electron it's the enthalpy change when you stick an electron on okay so for chlorine you're going to start off with Cl in the gaseous state and you're going to add an electron and you're going to form Cl minus gas and the value for that that is actually exothermic um, it is 349 kilojoules minus 349 kilojoules per mole. Uh, <coughs> the, in, in an exam, they ask, why is it exothermic? And they the sort of give a bit of a fudge answer. And they, they want you to say just, uh, they just want you to say, um, oh, because they, you've got positive protons in the nucleus of the chlorine is sticking a negative electron on but that's not really a proper explanation um because surely all the other electrons around the chlorine would, would repel the adding an electron i think the real reason is we don't give it as an answer is because one of the electrons in the chlorine atom is unpaired okay and it's, so it's a free radical and you're adding another one on pairs up with it um Right, so they are the, the new things we need to know. We need to know about delta H atomization, and we need to know about electron affinity. Um, we've come across and um, lattice entropy of formation. Um, that's not new, that's a couple of videos back. We know that one. Um, uh, now, now we're at the point where we are ready to be able to start drawing the Bourne Harbor cycle, which is can be, the first one you do is a bit confusing. Okay, so I'm gonna clear all that. Uh, and I'm going to put, um, this is energy, okay, so the higher up you go, the more chemical energy you've got. Um, if you're going up, that's going to be endothermic. If you're going down, it's exothermic because you're converting chemical energy into heat energy. Right, okay. So let's think about where we're going to. So somewhere we're going to have to have lattice enthalpy is when you turn sodium uh, formation, is when you turn sodium ions in the gaseous state. Now they're going to have loads of energy to turn, to get sodium to become a gaseous ion, you to give it loads of energy. And chloride ion, likewise, that's going to be high up worth here. And um, lattice enthalpy is when you get that, and you turn it into sodium chloride solid. Okay, that's what we we want to do. And this change here is going to be the um, the lattice. Um, this is the lattice enthalpy of formation. So. When you do this, always, always start off with the elements in the standard state. So I'm going to write down here um, the elements in the standard state. It's going to be sodium. I'll move it down a bit further down, I think. So I need plenty of space to go up. Sodium, standard state of sodium is a solid. And chlorine, so that's going to be a half Cl2. And that's going to be a gas. Okay, now the third thing we're going to do is we are going to um, we're going to turn that into sodium chloride. Okay, so we're going to go from there to there. Now, the, uh, so what we're doing there, we've got NaCl down here, solid. We know what that enthalpy change is when you go from there to there. That's called delta HF, isn't it? The enthalpy of formation. We're forming one mole of um, the compound from its elements in their standard states. Okay, so we've done that. We've got the bottom bit. Now we need to think about how do we get up to the top bit. Well, what have we got to do with the sodium? We're starting off with sodium as a as a solid, and somehow we've got to get it to be a sodium ion as a gas. So let's start working on the sodium. The first thing we need to do is before we can ionize the sodium, we need to turn it into a gas. So 
Uh, here we're going to have Na gas, and we haven't done anything to the chlorine there. So what's that energy change there? We've turned, well, it's delta H at, isn't it, for sodium? Yeah. We've turned one mole of solid, of, of the elements in its standard state, and we've formed one mole of gaseous atoms. Now, the next thing we need to do is to turn those sodium atoms into sodium ions. So I'm not drawing this to scale, but I'm going to do slightly to scale. So, all right, so that's going to be um, Na plus gas. It's lost an electron. And we haven't done anything to the chlorine again. We've got that. So I'm going to put that arrow there. What? What's that called, that energy change? When sodium loses, when gaseous sodium atom loses an electron, it's called the first ionization energy of sodium. And uh, that's, it is a quite a lot bit bigger than the atomization. That was a, the atomization was about 100, and um, the other one was about uh, 450 or something, so it's a lot bigger. Um, now, we've done everything we need to do with the sodium. That's all good, but what we need to do now is we need to do, we need to turn or we need to get some chloride ions, okay? So the first thing we need to do is break up that chlorine molecule into chlorine atoms. So I'm gonna have, again, we've done nothing to the sodium this time, that just is Na plus, and we've got Cl gas. What's that change? We form one mole of gaseous chlorine atoms, so that's delta H at for chlorine. I won't write the chlorine in because it gets a bit messy. Right, now we haven't got um, chlorine atoms. We need to have chlorine ions, don't we? Look, this here is, we need to have a negative charge. So how do we turn a chlorine atom into a chlorine ion? We stick a negative electron on it. That is actually, when we look at the numbers, that is actually not Exo, uh, endothermic, it's endothermic. So that means what way do we have to draw the arrow? We have to draw the arrow down. So you usually do it like this. So I'm going to write down Na uh, plus gas and Cl minus gas. Um, should I draw a bit further down? Yeah. Right, what's the enthalpy change there? We're going that sticking an electron onto a chlorine atom. That's called the first electron affinity. And now we've we've got to where we want to be. We've got the top and the bottom. We've got the 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 sodium and the chlorine, the ions up there, and we've got sodium chloride solid down at the bottom. So we're now ready to draw uh, this line here. So that's supposed to be horizontal. So this line. Now we're talking about enthalpy change. Lattice enthalpy of formation, so it's going that way because I want to. I'm talking about forming the sodium chloride from the ion, so the arrow goes down. You can see that that's going to be exothermic. We know it's you know, common sense, you get loads of these positive and negative ions are going to attract together, um, a form of solid lattice. It is going to be exothermic. Um, we can tell it's exothermic because the arrow's moving down, isn't it? Yeah, okay. So let's put the numbers in there. Okay, so the numbers here, delta HF of sodium chloride, that's minus 411. Uh, delta H atomization of sodium is plus um, one, uh, 107. Uh, the first ionization of sodium is um, 496 plus. The atomization of chlorine, that is plus 121. The first electron affinity, that's minus, is, that's why we're going down, and that is 390, I think. 349, sorry. 349, I think I said it was 390 before, it's not 349. Okay, so now this, I'm just gonna move this line out the way a little bit. Still there, yeah, that's your energy. Well, 
we don't really when we're doing this the whole point of doing this rather rather than doing it as a, a hess's law like a cycle what rather than doing this is this energy diagram is we don't really have to worry so much about the um about the science because look all we've got to do is we've got to add up all this lot here yeah and then we've got to subtract that bit and that is going to give us the lattice enthalpy of formation okay let's just tidy this up a little bit okay so i'm going to add up all that lot on my calculator so and i'm not going to worry about the sign that mind that i'm not going to worry about this minus here um I'm just going to because well you you can look at it two ways you can either say right I'm going against it because I'm moving up aren't I so that minus becomes a plus or you just think right this is a series of like heights how high is it so I'm going to do four eleven plus one o nine plus one o seven sorry plus four nine six plus one two one right that lot adds up to eleven hundred and thirty five there. Again, I'm not putting a sign in there. And this bit here, well, that's easy enough. That's just 349, isn't it? So what's the lattice entry formation going to be? Well, it's going to be the height of that, yeah, which is 1135 minus 349. Uh, and that is 786, OK? Now, which way is the sign going? We're moving down, so I'm going to give it a minus sign, okay? So the lattice enthalpy of formation of sodium chloride is for seven, minus 786 kilojoules per mole. Okay, that is a, this is the, a Bourne Harbour cycle. That's how you do it. Um, what I would do is um, do, use it visually. Well, sometimes you get people and they, they'll do things like, you know, they'll say lattice enthalpy is equal to, and they're working out, and they'll have uh, 411 plus 107, and they'll draw a great big load of sums and like this, and then they make a mistake because they're going against the arrow. Just the whole point of drawing an energy cycle is so that you don't really have to worry about the minuses and the positives. You can just look at the, whether you're going up or whether you're going down and work out that way. Okay, we'll leave that one there.